instead of walking around this building like a normal cow as you should be you are you are <laughs> you're way up there and you're, you're stuck like a cat now you're Hello lovely people, this is Siak. Welcome! Let's play more Dragon Quest Builders 2 today! Now, if you have seen uh, my previous video, you may or may not know um, I have built a Chrome Farm Factory. It's built underground, so built very down below inside my island. And I deemed it a failure because my NPCs don't seem to know they need to go down underground to farm. I think I may have worked out that the issue is traveling. By the time that they travel to the underground from the surface, um, they probably don't have enough time to do their farming properly. Uh, so they only farm one or two things and then it's time for them to go back up to the surface to eat and to sleep because that's where everything else is up there. I Now, I have built like a resting place and even like a minecart for them to travel, but they seem too much of an idiot to use those facilities, so I give it up. I think the lesson learned is if you plan to build um, a Chrome Farm Factory like I did underground, don't build it too low. Yeah. Um, on a lighter side, <laughs> I have uh, moved my farm above ground, and um, here it is. So, um, I was a little bit hesitant to, uh, you know, share um, what I've been doing, um, just in case it actually didn't work out like it did for the farm factory, but it did anyway. So um, this is all the crop types you can see uh, being built here. So one field for every crop type except for the pumpkins. I have one uh, designated for, um, see here now, see these are all the green pumpkins down here. That's one field for them. And they get another field which is this one. Okay so here's an example of these gigantic pumpkins they need some spacing around them um, I think it was a tree block spacing around for each of them so uh, just like what, what I did here um, it's a hit and miss so sometimes they will grow into these large ones and sometimes they stay the small ones just like here but if you fill it everywhere with uh, you know pumpkins and leave no space they will not grow into this size so yeah um, this is just a small barn, so temporary. Ah, oh, I actually should have, yeah, I should have uh, tiled the floor into something else instead of grass. I will do that <laughs> when I remember. Um, so I've got these robots. Yay, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I can guarantee you they can definitely they actually definitely know how to tile earth and water your crops and harvest so, and they do plant seeds. So they, they work like a farmer do, but obviously their production of um, the number of crops from each seed is more way more than your average farmer. So it's always good to um, probably employ more of those robot monsters if you can. Um and uh, over here, I have made a animal farmhouse. Is it a barn? Um, I don't know if that's what you call it, but um, hold on, let me show you. Ooh. So I've just finished this um, very recently. Oh, yeah, very recently. Um, just so I moved all my animals from the other side to here and uh, I even built like, well this is for the cows and the sheep and the chickens and this is just a small park where, oh, look who you have here. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, it's probably better to enjoy the view on this side, even though there's, uh, there's absolutely nothing <laughs> compared to the back here. Nice to see you here, Malrov. And see, nice to see you enjoy it. So, uh, why are you chasing me? Okay, oh yeah, this is good. This is good stuff, thank you. Um, so let's have a look inside. Uh, this is the main entrance. I used the throne door room and yeah, you guys opened this door for me. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's a two-story barn house. Uh, this is where the sheep is. Sheeps are great. They give you loads of cotton. So I would advise to, you know, have them if you can. What, did it, what was this one for? Oh, this is the cow's uh, fence. Yeah, I don't remember where I, where I put them. Because <laughs> uh, they don't need anything other than a place to sleep. And obviously these are all the chickens. I'm not going to have any more chickens. There's so many. And this is where the Wrigley stays. Because uh, I just figured he just likes to stay in the earth, so I just give him an earth tile. Um, and these are just some decoration. And um, this place, I actually reserved it for um, the monsters. So I have my robots sleeping here. I don't really know what they want. I don't even know if they eat or not. But I do sleep, so I just decided um, I'll make them a place. It's it could be bigger, but for now it does the job. Oh yes, and I, I did deliberately make the windows this way. Um, it does recognize it as a, this place as a room, so nice to have open windows. <laughs> and here leads to the outside where, well, more dogs and cats just annoy me. <laughs> oh, sorry, and uh, yes, the upper level um, these stairs are from the DLC 3, so if you haven't got a DLC 3, um, sorry, you won't be able to get these really nice stairs. Um, and this is where all the other cats and dogs are. Um, I'm trying to breed them to get a trophy, but probably not now, maybe later, because I'm not in any hurry. I've done all my tablet targets, so... Um, just whenever I feel I have time to look at them. Oh, and uh, as you can see, I filled up the river again. Um, I have made it uh, three to four blocks of water level. And I tried to add um, some of these so you can get back out easily because because this is a, like at least three blocks height, you're gonna drown in here. Oh, well, okay, <laughs> yes, you can do that as well. Um, but just in case that somebody panicked, like one of my monsters did, um, I had to build a few more blocks for it to actually jump and get back out. This design is okay at the moment. Uh, I probably would change some of the colors, but at the moment I quite like this design. Oh, yeah, and this brings us to the end of the tour. How did, how did you two get up there? Uh, okay, yeah, um, it's probably got something to do with my bell. Once I've rung it, instead of walking around this building like a normal cow, as you should be, you are, you are, <laughs> you're way up there and you're, you're stuck like a cat now. You're, you're just, well, yeah, actually a cat at least can land on its feet. You don't know how to. Why, why did you bother using some kind of ninja skills and thought you could just climb up the roof? Uh. <laughs> um, and your house is actually on the other side. So I don't know what you're doing over there. Oh, you're gone. Uh, this is something completely different. Oh yeah. So uh, uh, hmm. this brings us to the end of the tour. Um, I will probably work more on building some small houses for uh, some of my residents and um, probably try to build some sort of flower garden or a park well a bigger one not not the one right behind me right now uh, so i may build like a bigger one um, over here i may bash all the mountains and um, so we can get that like a clear view of the sea or something uh, we will see it's it's not major yet I will see you guys 
I hope you had fun, even though it's probably boring, but I'd like to update and tell you that uh, my crop fields are definitely working right now and if you're interested in the barn, um, I could always upload my island and have you guys blueprint it. So yeah, I'll see you guys around and see you in the next video. Bye!